everybody welcome back to my channel it's andrea and i'm here with the 10th update for nightmare on panning street this is a fantastic ladies collab created by jaylon and valerie who i will have linked down below and all the information it started halloween of last year it runs till halloween of this year and they are bringing it back around too and i'm so freaking excited because i love this project uh i have seven prompts left to work on and I decided that in this update, I'm going to roll everything in because I want to at least work on every single prompt. And we have two months left, so we're going to see how that works out for me. But I think it'll be okay. So this is the first video I'm filming since getting COVID and the first time I'm wearing makeup in almost a week. So I'm feeling a lot better, even though I kind of sound really horrible, but. I'm feeling a lot better so well enough to film a video anyway so let's get into it because i'm going to have a lot of things to go over and i don't want this video to be two hours long so the first prompt i'm working on is get out an item you want out of your collection and for that i have this maybelline superstay better skin foundation all of my marks keep getting rubbed off but this is about where i'm at right now i used it 14 times in the last month 34 times since starting the project. I'm not... So this up here is the last time it was in a project and I had used it a couple times so it wasn't quite up there. I don't know why I was like marking it on totally opposite sides of the bottle. But I've used quite a bit of it. My goal is to finish it. I don't think that's going to happen in two months but I'm going to get pretty close. So we're going to... I'm going to do my best. Now this next item, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it because I hate it. <laughs> it's for Alien, one of a kind, or an alien in your collection. This is the only peel-off mask I have. It's a Freeman's French Pink Clay peel-off mask. I only used it, I marked that I used it once, I thought I used it twice, but either way, that's where we're at. I feel like there is a bit of an air bubble in here. Because when I did use it, I feel like I had to squeeze it more than I thought I should to get it out. But I just don't like using this all over my face because it gets caught on like all my little baby hairs. And then it hurts really bad when I take it off. So I usually only try to do it like right in this area. And that's going to take a long time. So I'm going to try. I really want to get that out of my collection because I don't like it. I don't like peel off masks, but it's still here. Next, for the Exorcism of Emily Rose, an item that makes you levitate on cloud nine. And for this prompt, I picked my Glaminatrix Multichromes that Lisa got me as an extremely early Christmas present. And there's six, so it's these six right here. Oops, I just dug my finger into something. And the only one I had left to wear is this one, which is Venus, and I'm wearing it today, and I don't know. Like... The, this inner portion that's a looksy shadow, it's actually this one. I'll try to insert a picture because I did take, I don't know, can you see? Like it's kind of, this lighting isn't great for showing the shift. But this one shifts to like that really grungy, goldy green color and kind of like an orangey color as well. It's very pretty, but this was the last one that I needed to use. I just wanted to use each of the multi-chromes once. So this prompt is finished. Then for us, it's a dupe item. And after some internet research, I found that the Wet n Wild Precious Petals highlighter is a dupe for Becca Opal, which is my favorite highlighter. So I don't know that I had ever touched this before I put it into this project. My goal is 13 and I'm up to seven. I'm wearing it today actually is my highlighter so I've got six more uses on this and it's beautiful but I'm also working on Becca Opal <laughs> so it's it's like which one do I reach for because both of the projects end around the same time so I'm just like oh but I've still got six left to go on that one then for the strangers something that is no longer welcome in your collection I picked this NYX Sweet Cheeks blush in the shade fig because I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it or not. I have a five use goal on it. I have hit that five use goal. I am wearing it today and I am decluttering this. I 
it just looks it's just not right like I really blended it out too <laughs> it's just like I don't in some lights it looks okay and then in other lights I'm like it just looks like I have a dark stripe right here so no I actually I used it as a blush four times and then the fifth I counted it as my fifth use I actually put it in my crease as well today but I, I'm gonna declutter this I don't I, it's not welcome in my collection. It's not a flattering blush for me, I don't think. Then for the thing, an item you're not sure how to use, and I picked my LJ Essentials body oil, because I don't know. It says it's a bath and body oil. I'm like, I don't take baths. I just don't know how to use a body oil. So I wanted to use this 13 times. I have that I've used it eight times, which I feel like I might have used it more than that, but... Who knows? So we're just going to go with the, the ones I have marked is eight times, which it was brand new when I brought it in. And for eight uses, it's already down there. So only five more uses to go. I'll have a decent amount of this gone. It's nice. I I did try using it as a shaving oil. I don't know. I like just, I felt like it gunked up my razor. But somebody, and I'm sorry, I don't remember who, somebody had a suggestion in my comments to use it after I turn off the shower, then rub that in uh, like on my body and just let it kind of sink in while my skin is still wet and drying. And I did that and I liked it. So I'll probably continue to use it in that way. And mainly after I shave probably is how I'll do that. But I have five more uses to go on that one. Then for, I know what you did last summer, something you bought last summer. I looked through my Ulta orders and this NYX eyeliner in Chill Blue is something that I bought last summer. And my goal is to use it 13 times, and I've used it four times. So there's that. I guess I can give you a little swatch. It's a very silvery, like, slate. Not slate, because it's sky blue. I don't know. It's a very silvery, cool-toned blue. So I've got nine, I know how to do math. I've got nine uses left on that one. For Friday the 13th, a summer themed item, I have a base SPF because I, I wear lotion with SPF in it in the winter time, but like I do try to have a separate SPF in the summertime. So I didn't mark it last time. I'm not quite sure where I was, but sorry, I'm trying to find a light a good light source so I can figure out I'm I mean I just want to finish it I'm about down to here so I don't I kind of I have marks but I kind of wasn't marking it every time because I was using it every day so I have that I've used it 14 times I think I've used it a couple more times than that but also this past week I haven't been using it because I haven't been going outside because <laughs> I've been like sick on the couch on my phone or watching TV with the kids. So we're going to finish this. I've got two more months. I think I can, I think I can finish this in two months. Then for Frankenstein, a Franken product, product, then for Frankenstein, a Franken product, I have, I don't Franken things. So the one thing I had that I knew I was saving for this prompt is my Franken candle, which I'm calling done because it, I feel like there's a lot of wax left in here, but every time I light the wick, it just burns itself out. So yeah, I'm going to have to dig, like not dig it out, but I'm going to have to get this out and get a new wick and start a new Franken candle, but I'm calling this done for this project. And I mean, for being a Franken candle and having a ton of different scents because of the way I did it, like they all layered on top of each other so they didn't mix together and create like a gross scent it was just like you got one layer of a scent and then it went down but it, I honestly have no idea what candles were in here because there was a bunch so it smells good that's all I know and then the last prompt that I was working on is for Nightmare on Elm Street a dupe for an item you dream about buying and I have the Alter Ego Goddess Palette, which is a dupe of the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. So this is what it looks like I do have. As I said before, I have a pan because this was in my Panos Eyeshadows at the beginning of the year. 
That's what you may hear the garbage truck because I guess 4.30 in the afternoon is when they wanted to come. But I'm doing the snow pan left behind style. That is how many pans I've used. So four, five, six, seven. And there's how many pans? 15. So I've used about half of the pans. I just need to use the other half. <laughs> and this prompt will be done, which I don't think will be, it won't be that big of a deal, especially I've got two months left. So I was working on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I was working on 10 prompts. I finished three and now I'm bringing in seven. So I'm going <laughs> to be bringing on 14 total prompts for this project for the next two months. And hopefully I will be able to get through all of my goals, but we'll see. So first, and I'm just going in the order. I think these are just in the order on the list for fantastic ladies of the ones that I didn't do so the first is Christine an item that you made a special trip to the store to purchase and I'm bringing in my icy cherry palette from glam light I found this one and the blue one at TJ Maxx and I was telling telling some of my friends about it and they were very excited and Jen from Project Beauty really wanted this cherry one so I made it my mission to go to TJ Maxx and find another one, which I did, but it was had been swatched. So I'm gonna, I'm sending Jen the brand new untouched one and then I sanitized this one and I'm keeping it for myself. So like, there's just like a little, it just looked like some of this got into here and it was a little bit, a little touched. So I just sprayed everything with alcohol. This one crumbled a tiny bit up in the corner, but it's not a big deal, I'm sure it still works fine. So, I made a special trip to the store looking for this. So I am just gonna use this the same way, no pan left behind, there's 12 shades, and hopefully, I don't know, I don't typically do a ton of red, so we'll see how quickly I can get through the no pan left behind, but there's, like I said, there's only 12 shades, there's only 12 shades. Oh my gosh, I can't say the word shades. But like I said, there's only 12 shades, so I don't think it'll be that big of a problem. Especially, again, broken record. Two months left still. Then for Night of the Living Dead, an item that wakes up your skin in the morning. This is, this is kind of a, well, I don't even know if it's really a gimmick. Because I don't know if I'll be done with this in two months or not. But it's already halfway done. This is my Angelou Naturals turmeric and plus c enlighten serum it's their brightening serum this is supposed to be you can use it am and pm i only use this in the morning because i have a different serum that i use at night so this is halfway gone and i'm hoping that i can have it finished in two months i think i can i i have finished one of these before and but it wasn't in a project i was just using it so i have honestly no idea how long it took me to use up but i feel like about two months should be right to finish it and if not I mean I'm not gonna worry about it you know it is what it is it's either finish or use until the end of the project and then finish because I'm using it every day anyway I don't know I'm babbling sorry then for psycho a product that makes you crazy I don't remember what it is. oh and I am bringing in another candle this is just kind of like a little one this is an opal house candle in the scent orchard cider and I just love these apple-y fall scented candles. And now today is the last day of August. <laughs> it doesn't matter that fall doesn't start until the end of September. Tomorrow is the first day of fall. So I'm going to burn this one. Apple-y. <laughs> but yeah, I love, and Opal House actually I think makes really good scented candles and they have what I like is they have different sizes. So this is like the $5 size. So if you're not, you don't want to commit to the giant three wick ones, you can buy these little ones. Then for Carrie, an item that is a sin not to have in your collection. I'm keeping this in and I'm doing it anyway because I can't remember, but I feel like I did this prompt like way at the beginning, but I'm not going back to watch my videos to figure it out. So I'm just gonna, do it now and if it's the second time I did it oh well it's not that big of a deal but for me and this 
if you had told me this like a couple years ago, I would have been like, what are you talking about? I don't like perfume. I don't want to wear perfume now. I have so many little samples and little bottles of perfume. It would be a sin for me not to have any. So I am going to be bringing in my Nest New York Golden Nectar little perfume that I got in... I don't even remember what the name of it was, but it was one of the Sephora perfume samplers where you get the scent certificate, which I have not redeemed yet and I really need to do because I want a full size of this. But I'm just going to bring this in for 13 uses because I am working on a bunch. And when I say I'm working on a bunch of perfumes, I mean I'm working on a bunch of the tiny ones, but those take me forever to get through. So for me, that is a lot of perfume. So that smells really good. I don't know how to do scent notes for crap, so it just smells good. Okay, so 13 uses on that. Then for the Omen, use six pans in a palette six times. And since, since the beginning of this project, and I saw this prompt, I knew what I was going to bring in for it. And I, I have not brought it in until now because I haven't gotten the prompt until now. This is the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. I've had it for quite a while now and I may have used it once. So it's got six shades, like two more bronzery shades, two blushy shades, and two whoops, highlighty shades. And I'm going to use them all six times. So there's all six of the shades. This, even though, and maybe that's just not the best swatch, but that looks more, I don't think I mixed them up, did I? No. This looks almost more blushy to me, that bottom one, than bronzery, but I guess it could be like more of a shimmery bronzer. This, these are also terrible swatches, but I'm gonna use each of those six times. Yeah, two more. So then there's Pet Cemetery, which is a graveyard item, which is a nod to Emily and Max and her graveyard project pan. And I'm bringing in this NYX Glam Lip Gloss Aqua Luxe. I, I don't even know. This is just the shade VIP, I guess. This is so friggin' old. There's not that much in here. I, I'm pretty sure I've got like that much left. But it's just this like sparkliest glitteriest lip gloss <laughs> it, it's just not really my jam but it's almost gone and I've had it forever I want to see if I can finally finish it up and get it out of my collection then finally paranormal activity an item that never seems to disappear obviously I have to pick another blush right so this is another blush that's in my chopping block I got this from an Ipsy. This is the Steve Laurent blush in I'm Blushing. And it's just, again, it just looks really dark. So we're going to see. I mean, swatched out? I don't know. It might not be that bad. It's definitely not as bad as the NYX one. But it's just, I don't know. We'll see. I am, again, just going to do five uses on this. Because especially if it's on the chopping block, if I don't like it, I don't want to have to. It's also not blending very well on my are hand. You, are you filming your video? I am. I'm almost done, sweetie. But that's not boding well for uh, how it blends out on my face. So that is it for my update. I hope you enjoyed. I'm. There was. I I'm so. Hi. You want to say hi to everybody? Mm -hmm. Okay. I was kind of. Well, not kind of. I mean, I was upset that I got COVID, but I didn't get it too bad. Thankfully. Hi. Hi. But I was just like, of course, I finally, like, I wanted to film my that, wow, you cannot see the top of my face, can you? I wanted to film my that's expensive, I wanted to film Throwback 30, I wanted to film old, new, gifted blue, and it was just like, I didn't feel good, and uh, maybe I will still film some of those, but before next update, but it's just like, I don't, every single time something just comes up, so... I'm on the mend. Hopefully I will get back into a good filming groove. But that is it for me today. 
I will see you next. Well, I mean, I'll see you in a video before this next update for this, but I will see you next month with hopefully a bunch of progress and prompts finished and we're just gonna see where this crazy train takes us. So that is it. I hope you are doing well, staying safe and sane and healthy, having a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I and what's your name? No. No. No, she almost said her real name. We No no. No no. We will see you in the next one. Bye.